What's going on everybody, Jesse here. Today I'm gonna to teach you how you can build your own daily calendar bot for Slack. So the tool that we're going to build um, will run every morning and it will create a post that will post to your Slack telling you all your events for the day. So we let it run and then we can go into Slack and as you can see, it's pulled my events from Google Calendar and it's formatted them in a nice way. So every morning we get a nice little message with the events we have that day and it's pulling from this Google Calendar. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to build this from scratch. All right, so we have our empty way script program here. And the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna tell our script we want it to run once a day, let's say at nine o'clock in the morning. So to do that, we're gonna tell WayScript to trigger our flow to run at a particular time. So it's gonna run every day at nine o'clock a.m. And when this is ready to go, we activate the trigger and turn it on, which I'll just do for now. And so the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna pull our events from Google Calendar. So I grab Google Calendar and bring it into the first step of my workflow. And what would you like to do? I've already set up my account. I would like to import upcoming events from all calendar, and I'd like to import today's events. So the things that we're gonna get is, let's get the start time of our events, let's get uh, the summaries of those events, or the names, and let's get the locations. All right, so as you can see, we've grabbed these three variables, and these have become lists in our variable section, which we can now use, and what we're gonna do is kind of craft a message from these and then post that message to Slack. So what we're gonna do is create an empty variable called message, which is where we're gonna sort of format and build our message. So we're gonna create a variable called message and let's actually kind of make some nice little formatting in the beginning. So today's events are, and a new line, all right. So this is sort of the base of our message, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add and this formatted information into this variable. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna loop through our events and format them. So I'll explain how this works as you go along, but the way you should think about it is that it's gonna do the first one, and then it's gonna do the next one, and it will do it for every event that you have. So we're gonna bring in the loop, and we're gonna add our three calendar variables. And just to make it even more clear, I'm just gonna call them summary, start time, and location. All right, so one thing that I kinda noticed right away is that this date over here is kinda formatted in a weird way. It's like the way that Google gives it back to us, and maybe we want something that like looks a little bit cleaner. So we can drag in the date time module, and what we'll do is we'll extract date features. I can import that start time, and let's just pull out the time, because that's really all that we care about. So now we can see just the time of that meeting has been pulled as a variable into our software. All right, so now what we wanna do is, in each loop, we wanna format a string or a piece of text and then append it to our message. So this will be made more clear as we go through this, but I'm just gonna show you with an example. So to do an append, we're gonna drag in text actions, and what we're gonna do is append, and we're gonna append to our message, and what are we gonna put in this append? So we're gonna put the summary of the event and the start time. Cool. So now we have the summary dash start time and so what this is gonna do, right, is it's gonna go and build this for the first one and append it to this message, and then it's gonna do it for the second one. So it'll sort of build a line in our message for each one of the events that we pulled from Google Calendar, which is what this loop is telling us how to do. All right, so one thing I kinda noticed right away is in event locations, some may have events, some others may not, so maybe we wanna include the event if it exists, uh, the location if it exists, otherwise we just will ignore it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use an if statement to build out that logic. 
So we're going to say if the location has a value. So if there is a location, then we're going to go into our text actions again, and we are going to append to our message at space at and then the location. So if there isn't, oh, and we want to include a new line because now the way you should think about this, right, is it's going to go and do the first event and add a new line and then do the second event. So this is just like I've played with this a little, so I kind of know those things. It wouldn't be that bad to figure out on your own. Um, if there's not a location, we still want to add that new line. So in this else branch, we'll just append to our message a new line. Cool. So just to like give you a sense of where we're at right now, um, after this uh, statement, I'm going to add a print and let's just print out our message. If this is confusing to you, I'd recommend putting a print statement here and you'll actually watch it build your event message as it goes through each loop. But let's run this and just see the results. Cool. So this looks great. We have our message and it's, oh, I just realized I didn't actually put our time in. I put the wrong piece of information here. So I'm going to go back to that step. Instead of the start time, I'm going to stick in our time variable here. So that should look better. Yeah, that looks much better. All right, so now we have our message and now we want to print and post that message to Slack. So let's go in here and grab our Slack module. Uh, we want to work with a user because I'm just going to send a personal message to myself. So I'm going to select myself as the user and I want to send a direct message. Okay, so the message is going to be this message that we've built. And that's it. So now I'm going to press run and we can see the results in real time. So I go and grab Slack and here we are. So we have our events posted for that day and that's it. So now we have this set to trigger to run every day at 9 a.m. So every morning at 9 a.m. we're gonna get this nice formatted message with the things we have to get done that day. Hope you like the content. Please subscribe if you wanna see more, leave comments and ask questions and check out the Wayscript beta. Thanks for watching, bye.